Hi, I'm Zach Reininger with Forest River Wildwood, and today I'm going to talk to you about the 28D bud from Wildwood, which is one of our best-selling floor plans that we make. I'm going to show you a few things on the outside and some few things on the inside that I think really make this one of the best values out in the market right now. One of the big things on the front is going to be this smooth metal that we do up here. Not only is it radius, so you can tow it easier, better gas mileage, way more aerodynamic, but it's also smooth, so it's going to be much easier for you to keep clean when the bugs and everything start hitting it. It's going to make it a lot easier and a lot quicker than some of our competitors who use the corrugated front metal on here. You've got your diamond plate rock guard on the front to help protect you right there. You've also got a hitch light on the front. If you're hooking up at night, just flip that on. It's going to make it easier to see everything that you're doing. You also have another hitch light right here on your power tongue jack. But again, this is just going to make it easy to get that on and off your truck without having to work too hard. Come on this way and I'll show you a few things right here. One of the biggest features I think on the outside that we have over our competition is the size of our pass-through storage. We've got a great big door out here and then if you look inside here you can see that we actually finish it out underneath the bed. So what that allows for is say you can't get that giant Yeti cooler that you want to squeeze in this outside door, you can't get it in there from out here. You can now carry it inside and slide it underneath that bed and you have usable space inside there. This is something that most of our competitors don't do. So they have a lot less storage than we do on the outside, especially a lot less usable space. I always make sure to try and take advantage of that in any way I can. Something else that we have is what we call our showstopper package. It's going to have that power tongue jack, power awning, power stabilizer jacks, multicolor LED awning light up there. But also one of the best features of that is going to be the fact that you have a remote control that allows you to control your slide rooms, your lights outside, your awning, your stabilizer jacks. Any of you who've camped before know that when you pull into a campsite and you've got to go around and manually do all these different things, it can take quite a while. With the remote control here, you can sit from inside your cab while it's raining, run your slide room out, put your jacks down, put your awning out, turn your lights on, let your family go run inside and start setting things up before, without even getting wet. So it's a huge leg up over our competition that most people don't even get this in their high-end fifth wheels. Huge value in this price point. You're going to have the triple step here with the large grab handle, so it's going to be easy getting in and out. You've got a six gallon gas electric water heater with quick recovery and all that means for you is 16 gallon an hour recovery. It's going to keep refilling itself as you're taking showers. So dad, you're not going to end up with the coldest shower at the end of the night. You're going to still have plenty of uh, hot water by the time you get to shower. Uh, radial tires are standard on this. And then as you can see, outside speakers, but you're also going to have this outside storage door right here that goes inside. And I'll show you that from the inside because this is actually going to be a really important feature for you when it comes time for getting the family and getting ready to get out of town. Let's jump inside and I'll show you some of the things in there. We're in the bedroom of the 28D Bud by Wildwood. I'm just going to show you a few features in here that, in my opinion, make it stand out from the competition. First of all, I'm 6'1", and as you can see, I've got plenty of headspace here. I can walk all the way around the bed, so as far as making the bed, getting in and out of it at night, plenty of room to walk around. I've got plenty of walk-around space around the bed. I'm not going to be disturbing the partner that's in there with me and crawling over anybody to get there. Also, you've got Outlets on both sides, storage on both sides here for your cell phones, drinks. You're going to have an upgraded uh, comforter here that is actually, it's got a little bit of plush to it. So it is a usable comforter, which is hard to find in this kind of a product. Underneath the bed here, this is what I was talking about outside. You've got a massive amount of storage. So you can see that if you can't get your coolers or anything inside there, you can come inside, slide them in here, and you have a lot more usable space than just having a pass-through storage out there. Also, you'll know that, notice that we don't use any carpet in this area, so if you do put a cooler down there and it does happen to leak, you're not going to have to worry about it soaking into carpet or anything. It's all on linoleum, so it's good to go right in there. It's also on strut, so it's not going to be beating you in the back of the head when you're trying to load things inside here. Another little neat feature that we've got is going to be a laundry chute. Sounds really, really simple, and it is, but it's one of those things that most people don't think about until they're out there and they've got two adults and four kids in here and they're wondering where the heck are they going to put the dirty underwear and the dirty socks. You know, it's either going to be in a mesh bag in the corner that you're always going to see, or it's going to smell. Now all we did is we just gave you a place where you can throw a little uh, bag or you can throw a laundry basket in that pass-through, and you've got a place to put that kind of stuff. So just those little things that help take us to that next level of quality for you uh, that I think make a big difference for you enjoying it when you're out camping. Let's uh, jump in the living room here, and I'll show you a couple great features in there. Okay, into the living room in the 28D Bud, one of the neat features that I like is we have a swivel TV mount here. And just so you know, the TV is optional. It's not standard in here. But we've got solid pocket doors going into the bedroom. Instead of curtains, no accordion doors, things like that. 
Always make sure you're looking for that. Little extra bit of privacy there. So you close those, kids go to bed, mom and dad go into the back bedroom, lift that up, and you can swivel this TV around so that they can watch it while they're in bed at night and not have to worry about disturbing the kids as much. That's a great feature as far as for privacy and just more functionality for the parents. You've also got a DVD player that's standard in this, and that's gonna help with the entertainment value inside here. Another little feature that I really like, uh, it's much like the laundry chute, is something that most people don't think about until they're out camping is, where are you gonna put your shoes and boots when you come inside? So most other campers, it's always gonna be in front of the sofa or the dinette or in the kitchen. Wherever you put it, it's always gonna be in the way. If you've got six people in here, that's six pairs of shoes, that's a lot of space. We did something very simple. Do a little cutout right here at the bottom. Kids walk in the door, stop them right there, take your shoes off, slide them underneath, they're out of the way. They're not tracking dirt and mud and everything all the way through the camper right here. But even if they do, you can see we've got linoleum the whole way here, all the way to the bathroom, all the way back out. So you don't have to worry about trying to keep that carpet clean. Another thing that we've got here in our slide room is decorative curtain rods and nightshades. So these nightshades come down, a lot of privacy. They've actually got some insulative values, so they'll keep uh, some of that heat out for you. And then uh, this right here is a jackknife sofa. So this will lay down flat. You can fit one to two people on that. But you also have a storage drawer underneath. Pillows, blankets, extra bedding, things like that fit really well underneath there. Uh, and I, our, our furniture, you're gonna have stitching and tuffeting. Uh, it's actually gonna sit very comfortable compared to most of our competitors. So it is an upgraded furniture package for you. In our slide room over here, you've got your dinette. The dinette will still drop down into a, uh, into a bunk right there. It is a super size though, so you can fit two people on this. This is like a wood tabletop right here, so it is more residential for you. But one of the best features in our dinette is gonna be the pot and pan storage drawer. Big pot and pan storage drawer, it's a plywood drawer. It's not on drawer glides, so you don't have to worry about it snapping off when you're going down the road. It just makes it easy access while you're cooking breakfast instead of having to negotiate with a five-year-old to try and get them off that dinette in order to get a pot from out underneath it. Speaking of five-year-olds, if they do come in from swimming or uh, they're ready to eat lunch and say you're having hot dogs with ketchup for lunch, well, instead of uh, having to worry about what's gonna happen to your fabrics, in the wildwood, you just take these cushions, flip them over, they're vinyl backed, you tuck them right back in there. Kids can eat and spill grape juice and whatever else they want on there. Wet washcloth, wipe them off, flip it back over, and you're keeping your fabrics nice and fresh. In our kitchen, one thing that's really gonna set us apart from the competition is that we have LG solid surface countertops. You simply will not find this feature out there in any other products. LG true residential solid surface countertops, undermount sink, huge high rise faucet. Again, this is something that I've seen other products in our, uh, our competition that you can't even fit your coffee pot underneath there to fill it in the morning. So that's a big feature for us there. We got a little half barrel storage. Maybe it's mom's wine, whoever, whatever she needs to hide in there to, to get through a long weekend with the kids out camping. We got plenty of little extra storage in as many places as we can get it. Speaking of storage, trash can storage. This is one of those other things that no one thinks about until they're out there camping and they think about where are we gonna put our trash can? Well, with Wildwood, we give you a dedicated trash can storage in every floor plan that we can. So you have trash can storage right there. It's out of the way. It's not gonna smell. It's not gonna drive you crazy. In our kitchen, you've also got upgraded uh, appliances. So you've got the stainless steel appliances in here. It's a very residential feature. Again, just like in our, with our solid surface countertops, this is high-end residential that you just simply don't find out there in anything else in our competition. Just looks and feels really good. You've also got a backsplash all the way across the back of the kitchen and then a knife rack back here where you can stick your knives so you don't have to worry about putting them in drawers. They're out of the way, they're out of reach for anybody that can get to them. Standard in this unit is gonna be our LED lighting in the ceiling. So the benefit of that is, is it's not gonna have as much of a power draw if you are to ever go dry camping, but also it's the heat factor. So down here in Texas, that's a really big deal. The incandescent lights that you find in other products out there put out a lot of heat down here barely any heat coming off these at all. So it's, that's a big benefit for you when you're out there camping in the summertime. We're gonna jump over here. I'll show you a little bit about the bunks, some extra storage over here and the bathroom. We're over here at the bunk area of the 28D bud and wanted to show you our pantry storage here. So you've got hanging storage if you want, drawers. You can stack this up with a couple other things for, uh, as far as for stackable pantry, soups, macaroni and cheese, whatever else you might need to take with you. Full bathroom here, stand-up shower with a tub. You've also got the foot flush toilet. And then you've got two bunk, two double bunks here. So you can fit 
two kids on each one if you want, or if you want to bring some friends for the weekend, you want to take it to the deer camp, this is big enough for some grown men for them to lay inside here comfortably and get some good sleep. Another thing that's nice is they're rated for 300 pounds, but underneath this bunk right here, like I was showing you on the outside, you've got access to the outside. So you've got a ton of extra storage here. It's on struts. It's kind of like I was saying in the master bedroom, coolers, chairs, tables, things that you can't fit or want to put on that outside, you can get inside here. Another thing that's nice about this is if it's time to set this up and you've got it parked in the driveway and you're loading everything up for the weekend, you can have one person in here putting everything away while the other person is coming back in from the house and bringing a laundry basket full of canned goods and food and drinks and slide it in there. All I have to do, grab it, come over to the kitchen and put it away. It's little things like that that we try and do to separate ourselves to make life a little bit easier for you when you're camping because we know how much you want to enjoy it. So hope you've enjoyed this tour of the 28D boat. Again, this is one of our best-selling floor plans that we build. Uh, if you have any questions, please give us a call. Thank you very much.